Tom here from Lawrence Systems. This is November 22nd of 2023, and Unify, well, just a few days ago, released the 8.07. It went from release candidate to full release, and of course, I updated because I want to know if anything's going to break. And so far, it didn't. So too long, didn't watch. Yes, the upgrade went well, but let's dive into the details of the changes they've put in at 8.07, and I really like the VLAN ones. <music> Now, I would say version 807 is not a major change because it's not like you have to relearn things. This is just going from 7.5 to 807. It's more about enhancements they made to the existing things in there. And I very much welcome this because the video I did recently, for example, on VLAN management is actually enhanced, not changed by this. So my other videos that I released about two weeks ago on assigning ports and blocking them is still relevant. And this gives you an enhanced view of that particular setting that you put in there. So instead of just seeing it through the settings, you can actually see it visually with their new VLAN manager. But before I get ahead of myself here, Unify 807 has support for Radio Manager. So we'll take a look at that. WireGuard VPN client. Now this is going to be the VPN client for the Dream Machines and the USG, but I'm not covering that in this because I don't have any of those deployed to our clients and it's not something we regularly use, but I do have them in my lab. So I will be doing an updated video, especially on the Dream Machine, because feel free to call me out on this. If you've heard me say I didn't like it, I actually kind of like the Dream Machine now. I think they've added a lot of enhanced features. I think they've improved it greatly over time. And that includes these 8.0 updates. So I'm not going to focus too much on those, but yes, they did add more features to it. The site overview, I like that they fixed this. This was, I think, broken in a UI for a little while. We'll talk about what that is. Improvement in the port manager selection, and that's really cool too, as well as the VLAN manager, like I said. Let's just get hands-on. I'll leave the link to this so you can read every little detail for the bug fixes and changes that were made on here. And as I said, there's a lot of like traffic rule creation firewall rules that I'm not covering so we don't really use, as I said, the USGs, uh, but those are really important, good enhancements they did as well. The part of a future video I'll do on the Unified Dream Machine series and maybe the new USG that came out. Now I'm using the self host controller and I'm blurring this out, but this is the sites overview where you can see the 67 sites that we have in here that we host for our clients. I've done a video talking about how to set up multi-hosted controllers and the requirements for that. You'll find that linked in the playlist down below, but they've done a nice job of making this a little bit easier to read when you have 67 sites and you want to look at all of them at once, know how many guests, wired, Wi-Fi, et cetera, are in each one of these and what updates might be needed at any one of those sites. I want to start here with the radio manager, but I also want to point out, yes, this is a client that I've done a video on back in 2019 that still uses all this Unify equipment. It still works fine. It's obviously a bowling alley, if you didn't guess by all the site names here. And we have the ability now to easily filter, not just for all, but let's say we only want to see the devices that are 4x4 or only the 3x3 devices and the 4x4 devices. They've just done a nice job of being able to select these and then select the devices. And I can now make mass changes to change the channel width on this particular grouping. Or maybe I wanna say only on the four by four ones, we wanna do a selection and do the changes on that particular setup. They've just made this a lot easier to use. This is a very much quality of management improvement in terms of how you can manage things when you have, well, a whole lot of access points in a particular area. Uh, they also enhance the way this looks for the coverage map. You can see the different devices, the connectivity, the environment takes a second to load the environment, and then we can get all the details for all the different ones in here. It eh, looks like maybe a little bit of overlap going on in here, uh, but this site is not complaining. They're all working fine and all connecting. The bowling alley is not open right now when I'm doing this. That's why there's so few clients on there. Uh, this gets up over a thousand people during their open times. Now I want to switch back over to our office for the port manager. Now we click on ports here. We can see only the ones in use, or we can say only the ones available. So these are different ports that you have available in our network. We can also filter by just the non poe ports, or maybe I only wanna know which ones are set to 24 volt passive, or maybe ones that are only connected at the slower speeds. I like the way you can really pivot through and filter this. Like I can jump right here to those ports, click on it, and it brings us right to this particular port manager for this one, that particular port. So I can do the tag VLAN management, set my allows and blocks as I showed in the other video, and even go here to VLANs and look at how they're stacked on here. I think this viewer is really cool. It might need its own dedicated video where I talk more about it, but because we have a lot of VLANs, you can see what VLANs are available on which ports and which ports are filtered for not allowing them to be available. And I just think they did a nice job color coding this and giving you some visuals to understand where these different VLANs are available. Now, another nice enhancement they've done is the insights. They've given you better control over this with the same filtering so we can choose which switch we wanna look at. And from that switch, we can narrow it down to 
the different ports and then see some statistics on that. So we want to know how much bandwidth was going through. Little mouse overs give you the different bandwidth on a day by day basis here. They also give you some extra columns to filter so you can keep narrowing it down. They've given us a lot of better ways to trace things around in the network when you have a larger scale unified deployment. So I think this is actually a really welcome enhancement as well. Now, as I said, I really focused on the changes that were happening in our production controllers so I can give you some production feedback from managing 67 sites and tell you that it's been working perfectly fine with the 807 version. Of note, there are a lot of other enhancements that came into the Unify routing equipment. Because we don't have that in production, it's going to be some lab testing I do with that. But I won't lie, they have fixed so many of the complaints I've had over the years about the Unify routing equipment with these enhancements, especially the way VPN works, the WireGuard features. I'm really coming around to say, hey, they finally made, I think, a solid product. I, you know, can complain that it took them a long time to get there because they had the weird cloud integration for a while that they've now said, okay, you can just set it up on the system now, which I think is the right way to do it. And it's the way they should have done it from the beginning. But now they're doing it. It'll be something that I'm going to come back around and do a video on. As always, I love hearing from you. Leave your thoughts and comments down below. Like and subscribe to see more content from the channel. And you can connect with me on whatever socials you find me on at lawrencesystems.com or in my forums. Thanks. Thank you.